Those are little flames. <coughs> Brilliant. Hot. Then gone. Those who face eternity easily forget what a lifetime means. Make it bigger. Okay, uh, I can do full screen. Hold on. You know it doesn't have to that be good? this way. No could have It right. does. Oh yeah, and then yeah, mm -hmm. Colin and um Whatchamacall is back, right? Uh Grouch. Yeah, that guy. Hi Tyria. Welcome to the Guild Wars 2 Hi. Dragons first. Am I ready to throw my money I'm at the Lydia screen? Bear, Arena Net community manager, and we are all so happy you're here today. We know you've been looking new race, I will act I'm I'm probably gonna act role regardless. Oh, look who it is! Hey, Traitor! Really excited to be here sharing details about Ninja Dragons. <laughs> hey, Guild Wars community. It's nice to see you all again. It's been a little while. It's nice to be back in the chair. Welcome back. Thank you. Phony. Uh, you know, this Left is a us. really big day for us. Uh, back when we started development on Guild Wars 1, uh, our very first campaign... Uh, let me put this on my main screen. ...in Cantha. Uh, and it was our first ever expansion as a studio. Uh, we were coming off of a big win of shipping our first major live update, Sarah's Furnace, for those of you who remember that. Uh, and Factions was an incredible journey and learning opportunity for all of us in the studio. Uh, we'd never made an expansion before as a studio. And so How much did he get to come back? It, really it, it, in way you wonder, right? It's like, today. how much uh, did they have to pay up for this guy? Feel like that long. It's been no. 15 years since we Are there in an echo chamber? In the Guild Wars franchise. Uh, and it's Does it sound okay? For oh, uh, I let me turn to mute, Guild Wars. There we go. You know, small you know, claim to fame here. If you have a copy of your <clears> factions, I can proudly say... You can probably hear my birds now. Nice work. Yes, right. So in addition to being the setting of our first ever expansion, Cantha was also home to the final story we told in Guild Wars Beyond. The content we created... I don't think Andy is short on cash, actually. <laughs> they paid him in gym codes. It's also the last piece of content I personally got to work on in Guild Wars 2, so it holds a really special place in my heart. But today, we're talking about the end of Dragons. Basically, from the day we announced Guild Wars 2, plays have been Cantha win. <laughs> I, uh... I, I, right long, I have uh, no attachment to this place, creator, sadly. Visual, uh, and, uh, the entire interview, he did, just kept did you guys hear the rooster? Staring at me over and over again, <laughs> waiting for me to twitch or give away anything whatsoever that would give a hint as to when Cantho was coming. It's like with Dan every big Howell company, no money for Dez, but like five. Yeah, yeah that's life. pretty scummy, but. That's right. Well, Matt, Dan, and all of you who wondered about Cantho, right. today Gaff. is your lucky day. Thick. We promised you a tidal wave of information for End of Dragons, and we are ready to deliver that. We have members of the End of Dragons development team joining us throughout the rest of the show, and this is only the beginning. Today is He's just a game, first not a studio book. director? You more details is that a promotion? Announced today leading up I'm doing some chicken wings and dip, gotta get thick. <laughs> what flavor them? No, yes, yes you do! You, you do want to spoil everything! Fuck that shit! <laughs> show me everything! So, let's start your first look right now with the brand new <laughs> End of Dragons trailer. Okay, here we go. The dip is chili. That seems pretty There's yummy. Familiarity. All right, I'm just gonna let you guys know I didn't finish shit for the last like story, so I've already come to terms that to I'm just gonna carry. accept whatever's gonna happen here. I know you. I'm pretty sure someone died. <laughs> someone died, right? Ooh, Asia mist. Town. An echo in the mist. A possibility. Look around that us. dragon looked pretty anime though. Wait, was that that was an arena, wasn't it? <sighs> new hairstyle! Oh. Uh, new, I mean, uh, unlimited hair kit value. No, oh, yeah, ears all, you're right. I, I'm not very interested in story. I just try to, I just try to act like I am. <laughs> New race? What is that? I won't. Oh no. I'll find a way to save us all. I'm trying to look for spoiler arena or like little things of anything. Why does that dragon remind me of that Disney dragon? What was her name? Raya or something? <coughs> that was not fucking it, was it? Mm-mm. There better be more. Okay, thank you. Bubbles. The future is out there. 
Whatever. Yeah, the animation style has definitely changed up a little bit right here. It's Aquafina. <laughs> that was the voice actor. I never knew who she was until I saw. Like, damn. We hope you liked the new trailer. If you're not already, tell us in chat what you think. I'm, a, a lot in there I'm, I'm, I'm actually saying what I say in chat. Or chat. Give me chat. Go rewatch the trailer after the show and see what else you can discover. Wait, I can't even send a message. Is chat dead? Oh, there we go. Evidently. And who was that mysterious? Chalks sleeper. I let him know. I let him know. So we got the trailer, and I'm excited for them to find everything out. But that is just the beginning of today's reveals. Okay, thank God. The area of End of Dragons we're going to take a look at. The Chinese copy pasta? Wait, wait. The story, the setting, and the world. Something I'm really proud of in End of Dragons is how closely the narrative and design team work together to shape the themes and the story of the expansion. I'm actually the surprised there's not a lot of copy pasta. Oh, I want to please script. I want to please script. Some of those developers and narrative and design teams about the story and setting of Kanta. <coughs> When it's released now, it's going to be 2022. So, like I was actually Andrew mentioning Dragons earlier, that um, I'm, I'm glad they pushed it past so Endwalker because releasing in the Dragons the at their previous really time was supposed to be quarter four, uh, 2021. Over the years, and but that's like when Titanfall 2 I think released be between COD and Battlefield. All these different that really screwed them. So. I don't. I think that was a good move to push it back, Tyria, and it gives it more time to polish. <clears throat> that I think really enjoy. You're not the only Last one who has gotten thick. Canada, the devs look a big. <laughs> yeah, they. Uh, I mean, who hasn't? Come on, when you're at home, COVID and ordering Uber Eats all day, there is a lot it's of kind of a actually. Uh, consequences of the, uh, of Shiro's Yo, let's the race. What up? And we teamed up with this group, How you been here? Are you can pure it enough for hundred twenty hundred dollar. They didn't stop it it's probably going to be like twenty nine ninety nine. Like they started trying to kick out everybody else who didn't fit with their ideal image. Wiles did it. Yeah, everyone's they, moving to 14. What they want to be like. And then they closed off to the rest of the world. And that was where we left things. Guys, it's $3.50 so to, to get that McDonald's. Because Cantha was closed off, that they would become a time capsule. <gasps> However, Do I need it? They've been affected by the same events that have been affecting the rest of. It's weird, Farrakhan, because I think my Uber Eats addiction of really Balthazar. popped off All of during the COVID. Just as much of an I thought Uber Eats was dumb, but I'm like, had on the rest wait, of the world. I could get a Big we Mac in 15 minutes to my front door? Made a time Sign me the fuck up. Of all the major events Use DoorDash is cheaper. Don't do it. I'm hungry though. I didn't eat dinner last night. Uh, Even though last night I was looking really at Taco Bell, but they canceled my order. I'm not even joking. Love, All I wanted was frankly, new players, some nacho fries uh, and a chicken chipotle milk. milk. It wouldn't be and the they're like, too. It nope. wouldn't be the story of the commander we the commander cannot house. complete your order. Uh, in End of like, Dragons, fuck you guys. we find ourselves traveling with Marjorie More and like Medium Mac? Yeah, you're right, Moody. Anybody who really misses... Jory the detective is in for a treat. Why well, is this in four? Oh, here we go. Most Sorry. Important familiar We're in faces pleb be, uh, quality. Us on our journey into Cantha. <clears throat> have you seen the anime ad for Taco? I have not. Story has become sort of the spine. Is this Aureen? The Guild Wars two. You guys can spoil it for me. Aureen is constantly okay, grappling with her. her responsibility and how much she needs to do, and her trying to feel that out is going to have repercussions for the entire world. In this expansion, we have really breathed life into every corner of the world that we could. That looked good. You know, there are so uh, many I'm, I'm, little he's moments. crystal meth now. <laughs> moments so that meth. touch you. <laughs> moments fuck? that make you laugh. Moments that make you cry. <coughs> this <coughs> this team is so good at just. That's what Kanta is basically. Miko. What I'm most proud about is how we were look, able look, to really one of the NPCs. A story that very elegantly blends the Did Tencent elements. purchase in it? I'm not sure, I think but Wars 2 is really I wouldn't be surprised. With a story that just Our baby has gotten big, really so big so fast, right? And lets you live out oh, look, this world while also experiencing a lot of really cool gameplay moments. There are so many things that I am uh, excited about people experiencing for the story of End of Dragons. Uh, one, just from a design perspective, we have so One thing I'm actually looking forward to, or has been which is, you know, not necessarily the story, but um, and as a result, more info, like I'm on my, my wish list, this is DX11 really info. Cool set like, I really want to see how much more they can optimize the game, because, I mean, right now we're all pretty much forced to use the DX12 proxy thing, 
<clears throat> and that that thing is just Hello, like magic. I'm Ishii, and I play June in End of Dragons. Who the fuck is June? Like Connor said, the story in End of Dragons is the Who? culmination of a lot of <laughs> at least show the character story threads, from stories that began 15 <laughs> what? years ago. All that was so random. <laughs> events that you took part in over the past year. And what he said about building a timeline was 100% true. It looks almost about, hey, the world building, I'm Coxy, I like Big Macs. Whoosh. Sort of plot out the last Could I at least show the Big Mac? The history of an empire. <laughs> that was a little awkward. Who the uh, fuck the is June? This expansion is to create a world <laughs> uh, story that's okay, well, and exciting to those of you who remember I can't say I'm not surprised. But also accessible and equally exciting to those of you who are visiting it for but, the first uh, time. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, in a sense, I am excited to Kantha. visit Cantha. Nick Hernandez and, and then with, oh, well, now with my 3080, and, and if they actually implement DirectX 11, I'm actually kind of hyped to see what it, how the game looks and runs. And we wanted to lean into the, the destroyer of Big Max, Extra Max Sauce. Yeah, imagine you being on the stream. How does the Ecto rolls? Nah. My name is Ali B. Um, I'm Hi, one Allie. of our senior content designers, and I work primarily in our open world area. Um, my name is Nick okay. Hernandez. I like you. Uh, I am a game designer here at ArenaNet, and I, like you. I am a content designer. Yes, content. I like map. the. I like that six-letter so word. So, can expect from the end of Dragon Maps to kind of really feel something Seven. new and different that they haven't experienced before. Fellow Baldi. End of Dragons, things are a bit more different. I mean, it's nice to showing all the bits. Oh, sorry, mouse. Feel mouse for Shinji mm -hmm. specifically, trying to <clears> I ordered make, pulled pork uh, riddle today from Taco Bell. Play types, right? Can you like even use the X11? I don't know, but I, I know like this beautiful, there was an article on um, someone in like one uh, of those spacious, like uh, Paul, Polly, whatever feels fuck, both peaceful um, and mentioning not, DX11, right? Depending on saying it was in the where works, you are being implemented. Um, their so faces with the mouse. The map are definitely those gargantuan nah, that's so awkward. The, lake, uh, the rivers <laughs> that kind of pour into the lake, where you kind of have these. Uh, underground rivulets Mexican and stuff like that. Mexican are actually hella rare all oh, over where you're at. There. Definitely In a sense here too. Kind of give you They're usually sort of just trucks. Of movement we talked about before. So if you've got a sky scale, <clears> that's gonna feel really cool. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually more so interested in like, yeah, the art the same as direction and the uh, map direction versus the story at, years, at this point. So how has that area evolved? What's the geography like, like now? Are the trees still It's kind of like me in fighting like, games, what's, what's kind of going on like, like Tekken, for example. Um, as well as I'm actually really hyped right? for so new maps or new new stages. As a kid, I'm like, I just want new characters and balance changes. I'm like, no, dude, this new map is fucking hype. So what players can find? I'm getting old, man. It's like also when you get older, you want things like socks versus toys. Used to be. Like, but not to a point where there are someone gets me a bag of socks. I'm like, <gasps> I think I'm most excited for when we finally get to Everyone's the dragon. Everyone's wearing socks. Just seeing how players feel. Fucking socks feels amazing, man. They I legit are like, if someone gets you that nice pack of socks, the world and the world narrative. Like, as a kid, you never appreciated you know, it. You're like, yeah, socks. I wanted the RC car. Um, and just get <laughs> reception on what they think of it. I think it's gonna be. Your socks really feels amazing. Oh, hi, I'm Norshir Dala. I'm the voice of Hey everybody, I'm Dong Lee as Detective Rama. Yeah, Wars Detective Rama. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Hope you enjoyed the preview Sorry. of Xing Jie and Echo Fold. How the game and game world are different now and how those <laughs> changes affect the map and content design. And that's just two of the maps. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well, didn't they say this 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 map was gonna be like fucking huge, chunky, badonky? Hello, dude. Sorry to forget the name of. That so many of you are familiar with. How can't the changed while it was isolated? The beauty of the game world and that so many things that Guild Wars 2 has to offer. And like I like mentioned, these maps are tons of fun to explore, and they're especially fun to explore on your mouse. Speaking of mouse. Mm. Uh, here's another End of Dragons preview for you. Mm -hmm. New mount? Although, I know... Oh, uh, Siege? Okay, alright. I was about to say, what the fuck could they add as a new mount? A oh, fucking... Oh, why does that remind me of that Yu-Gi-Oh card? Um, what is it? That cattle... Cattle turtle or some shit like that? It's like you literally... You, like, literally yeet one of your, your monsters and shoot them at your... Oh, damn! That actually looks pretty... Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that one. Even though it's kind of like... Okay, but... 
Wait, multiplayer co-op, Ma? Be able to pick up a friend and I'm listening. Together, but we wanted to make sure that both the driver and the passenger had something fun to do. It's a perfect opportunity. Oh, multi-mount. Players into the nice. Uh, so just like can just ride on the back. The critically acclaimed MMO RPG Final Fantasy XIV. You can pop up your mentor tag, and they can jump on the back of your turtle. That's cool. I like that. On the maps to areas they haven't seen before. Because you saying I don't have to get married to get one. <laughs> really a lot of care and research into getting their behavior. The world of tank now. And alive. I spent <clears> months <throat> watching turtle videos, <coughs> prototyping. So um, the animation. My question is. Um, just turtles eating, How walking, are we getting this turtle? Sprinting turtles. Is this gonna be Sky Skill V two or is it gonna be freaking animated on the sea turtle? Um, just Griffin V two. It really Aww, got me into so the mentality cute. of a turtle. We're probably gonna have to fucking raise it, huh? How they walk <laughs> and what their foot placements are. That was pretty if you adorable. Though. Toggle the walk animation in game. It kind of maps out to more or less a turtle's walk speed. I actually. Did the calculations. If you're going to RP oh walk gosh. with the turtle. That's like <clears throat> the exact speed. Perfect. I nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> when you think of turtles, yeah. you don't really think you're Raising fast. baby turtle so to this, this to destructive nation destroying beast. Is, uh, awesome <laughs> the Siege Turtle is a personal That's where gem money is going into. Oh, I can just imagine a mount skins really though. The power One's going to be like ninja turtle looking. Another one's gonna be like, I don't know. Oh, my name is Tina Huang. I'm the voice of G hey, I'm Tina Jane. Wong, and oh. I play Empress Yin. And, um, oh, I was almost close. Jane, and Jane, Jane. Akane and Tengu Reporter, and all sorts of other kind of characters that you might meet later down the road in the expansion of Guild Wars 2 and of Dragons. <laughs> Damn, they made it do like four or five characters. The Siege Turtle is a two Some value right there. co op mount. He <laughs> spears so what's up, eager girl. for you to experience in End of Dragons. I remember several years ago, we had a company wide meeting to brainstorm what we wanted to do. Can attach wings or plane wings to the Siege Turtle? And Siege Turtles was one of the very first things called out. We all knew that they needed to be a part of the in Guild tank? Wars 2. Ecto Gamma A2P, what's up? I agree. And yeah, we're waiting, we're waiting for that, that casino to open. Oh my uh, Basil Geese experience. That the looked a little more high tech. All right, Punky, thank, thank you. Down. Someone understands. Yeah, Slot machines, blackjack. Uh, we're gonna be telling you more about Naked that. oil choya battles. A, uh, <clears throat> article about Dragon Jade technology on our website later today. Yeah. So the Siege Turtle isn't the only new method of transportation. Ooh, okay, no, I don't know. more to share, so let's see what else he has to tell oh, you. Oh, okay. I expected just one, but two would be fishing. I'm Kirk Willaford. I'm just curious on what the fishing is actually going to be for. We've been wanting to put fishing in Guild Wars 2 for as Thank long as you. it's been around. It just Thank always came you. down to finding the best time and place. When we were building fishing for Guild Wars 2, we looked at our own personal experiences I like going fishing and found what to was fish. <laughs> For me, when I went fishing as a kid, I went with my family. And so when we bring that into Guild Wars 2, we wanted to think about oh, how that's we actually kind of nice. Like, fishing in 14 is pretty sick, you too. Can fish off of docks, or we Though I think skips, fishing in 14 is uh, way more... Taking your fishing boat and exploring uh, with your friends. It's pretty deep in 14. We wanted the waters of Cherry to feel as authentic as we could and most lifelike as we could to a real fishing experience. And so there are hundreds of different fish for you to discover in, in Tyria all across the world. Okay, so it seems like he's just going to make it for a collection. Kudos Hopefully they make it for like some kind of like market. Uh, including Maybe the like um, common goldfish making well some the cool food. Uh, catfish and Ascalon old whiskers. End of Dragons has five new mastery tracks, including the Siege Turtle, mm -hmm. Skips, Oh, uh, the boat. Fishing. Oh, can Each I like transfer? Can I make people ride with me? I'm most excited about the release of. Imagine Dragons. all the boat the RPs. Really be able to come together and experience <laughs> the world that we. There was fishing in the Ragnarok. Oh, it wasn't. We all wanted to go to Canada for the longest time. Legendary fishing pole. Hey, 14 has it. Life, I just can't wait for players to see it. I don't remember fishing in Ragnarok. Foot. Hi, I'm Ray Chase. I'm the voice act. I'm voicing. I'm Ray Chase and I voice oh, hello. Yeah. Local, yeah. Mostly friendly, agender engineer. Like Short said, we've been and to sweet. Add for a long time, and we're really happy with how it's shaping up in End of Dragons. The multiplayer aspects, over 200 different kinds of fish, and the ability to fish from docks, the shore, or skiffs. Skiffs, by the way, are another of the five new mastery tracks that Kirk mentioned, along with Siege Turtles. 
going out with so skiffs fishing, fishing to to turtle so far for mastery tricks fishing, <clears> can we get dante basco <laughs> with your instruments and if you didn't catch it fishing is not restricted to canada you can fish all over Tyria, and if you want to catch okay so it's reverse engineered for the old places that's that's nice I was I was actually afraid they were just gonna uh, well, more details have it in Kenta. Lines, as well as the remaining two unannounced lines between now This is Andrew, I voice Chuck C on stream. <laughs> Master <laughs> Angler, hell yeah. Some Down. Colin went back to Amazon already. <laughs> okay, well we're gonna into the good shit. Just give me purple I'm shit, Chelsea thank Hills, you. And I'm a senior pop artist. Come on, Chelsea. In End of Dragons, we're introducing 16 new legendary weapons, all available on release day. Is that sword? The set of legendaries <gasps> is inspired by the Elder Dragon. Oh, uh, wait. They the no, they did not look all the from same. From our perspective, we wanted the legendaries to show Arim's journey with the commander. From the no. first time you meet her, uh, uh, well, mm. to now, yes, it's a lot of work, but dragon. that feels a little lazy. Arine, while the legendaries represent adult Arim. They're all the same. My favorite characters, and I'm so I'm a little happy let down right there. <laughs> hey, the sword looks like the great sword. Okay, well, I mean, they, they, I'm, I'm not even going to do this one. <laughs> they are probably like on uh, time constraint and resource constraints. These Crystal Gun is gonna look shit. Arine style legendaries are all going to be available on End of Dragons launch day. And if you want a head start, you can earn a voucher for one of the precursors Chelsea talked about with the current Return to Living World achievements. And we'll talk a little more about that later. I am pumped to get these weapons. I like, need them. I, I, I'm Arine's if, champion. Like, I should have legendaries. That if make they made it diable, well, that would have been sick. Good. But I don't know how I feel so about up, all the weapons having the same Rish aesthetic and everyone's just going to be running around with them. Like, oh, look at my re gun. Oh, look at my re dagger. Oh, look at my re uh, yeah. All right, strike missions. Um, Hi, I, I I'm still feel like strike missions were just an okay to the, the game. For End of Dragon strike like when I played it with some of you boys, I, I wasn't. Story I wasn't. I wasn't. Like, really awesome challenge. What's the word? I wasn't immersed in it. I didn't really enjoy. feel too much. I felt like right, I was just doing, doing. I was just hitting a training dummy. We're adding challenge mode difficulty to each strike mission to release within oh, the challenge dragons. mode. I guess something. these challenge modes will be enabled shortly after launch, and they are designed to. This guy's pasty. Our hardcore players, our existing raiders. They're so ashamed uh, of the hot legendaries. I mean, in at least they the were able to roll them out. Also going to be revamping our reward system for and, strike um, missions to simplify and standardize pretty sick. them across the game. Within of dragons, creatures, and combatants, it's cool. There's no lore bound to it. Yeah, to it's design. One of the common shortly after launch, six months plus. Coming across a creature that's of a Strikes high rank, feels like it just has a bunch more Wait, health and a bunch more So instead, this time around, uh, you'll see creatures unlock new abilities as they increase in rank. So if you find a creature on the field that's a veteran, you might be using one set of skills. And if you oh, come I, I it again, don't even know what that is. Champion, <laughs> it'll unlock some new skills along the way. That will hopefully test you Sorry. and your strengths. I'm player. so outdated. I'm really, really excited for fans to get their hands <laughs> on the strike missions for End of Dragons uh, because like, there's a lot of surprises. What I really wanted was more guild puzzle things. Guild puzzles really were great. Bosses. Being able to actually work together with a mixture of fights, puzzles, and that shit's fun. I, I thought I thought that was great. Hi, my name's EK. Yo, it's my boy EK. And as you know, he's the best. And I'm happy to be a part of the cast for End of Dragons. Looking forward to it. More jumper puzzles, more jumper puzzles would have been fine. We know how many of you are looking forward to taking on some new challenges. We need some shiro can't wait to see you tackle these new Is that like an old bop? You'll find additional challenge modes. After playing 14 breeds, the game was sort of Oh, shot. What you just saw was a sneak peek at some of Don't the maps with the strike missions. We can't show you the bosses or the fights like, quite yet, as it would be 14, the way they do their dungeons so and trials and their, like, the raids expansion. and stuff like that are just so good. And you can expect challenge mode to live up to the name. Cam and his team are doing an amazing job creating diverse challenging content. i mean all the, the guild wars 2 raids are good too somewhere. it's just the accessibility of those good. raids We're aren't as good whereas in final fantasy you can just hit your like party Nina, finder Papa, or hit your duty finder well oh, then again party finder is like their duty uh, yeah party finder is like the equivalent of the lfg in this game but it's not as open I want to say. Also revisiting how we do, uh, how we work at scaling creatures. So and dungeon of guild wars too. 
they actually get new abilities as they. The like. last dungeon release was like, <laughs> what? So, um, Andrew. Hi. Tell Hi. Us who we're gonna hear from. Next. That's me. You're gonna hear from past me about Guildhall. <laughs> oh, Guildhall. All right, new Guildhall. Uh, someone was. Right. My name is Andrew Gray. I'm the content design lead on Guild Wars 2. Well, definitely so pre recorded. One of the coolest things about the Guild Hall is the location we chose. It is some fine uh, beachfront property oh, in the old anime. Area. That was one of the most beautiful maps in the original game, uh, and it's even more beautiful in Guild Wars 2. And it also has a lot of historical. Everyone's just going to move to this one. Location <laughs> that the original leader of the Ministry of Purity was defeated at the end of Winds of Change. Guild acquisition works similarly yeah, to no, other guilds. Yeah, no, it's all it's all totally hit on the head right there. Yeah, uh, we did it, build the expedition. Like I enjoyed the hell out of the raids in this game, on, uh, but the accessibility and the community was just not you know, that scaling, not that great. Uh, a big cornerstone of it, so that and even if you're in with like back group, to fourteen, there, some of the done some of the trials and stuff in there feel very raid like. Like I never get old. I never get tired of like the near raid. And some of the other stuff in that game. Like the twenty-four man's really fun too. and fishing, and it really worked out well. It's just why do all these dudes have facial hair though? Going around on a little fishing trip. Come on, man! You're in all day. You can't pay anyone because of COVID to shave your beard. And also, there's a really large guild arena that's right there on the beach. I never even tried to. I I didn't. I stopped. Well. My favorite part about building the guild hall was honestly just I spending time in the area. Didn't try anything like after wing three because it's so beautiful. Uh, but beyond that, uh, when we built the expedition, we we decided it's to build good, one but of well, the little had more meaningful guild it. content. Uh, you, have, you have some familiar characters there, exactly. both existing friends, and those are the real questions. The we're waiting to be add answered. a little bit more personality to the acquisition process. Oh yes, okay, it looks pretty, really but really like that. guild war, everyone see, always is uh, emphasizes this is guild war. Space, honestly, um, I'm always blown away at the uh, amount of creativity. Yeah, no, I knew you right. I mean, I was glad that people were able to take me along with their strike missions, but I was just not. Space I wasn't very immersed or all their crazy adventures in there. You know, so uh, I'm 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 looking for that to great. See, not, no, what they do with this. Well, they add a weekly dungeon with about. different difficulty levels. But um, it, for I one, they gotta recycle the their the voice their already made dungeons. But even then, those dungeons just they really felt like chores. After a while, it's just, it just it wasn't it wasn't fun. It just was not fun. Period. How long is that? I need a nap? I don't know. Maybe like in the half hour. The we double name drop. Thank you for sharing all of this and getting players ready for their new camping guild hall. I cannot stress how beautiful this map is. We actually had somebody return to the company, Darren Claypool, of yeah. the Township of Claypool fame. Yeah. He came back. Imagine having to move guild halls guild though. <laughs> Like they asked me their racetracks so and everything, gotta point, break it all down. What's next for Colin, li Colin literally <laughs> left. <laughs> Where did he Thank go? Andrew, why don't you get us <laughs> I just realized. So at least specializations. <laughs> he was right there. The way to experience your profession. They give players access to new play <laughs> styles, changing their Stop. professions, core mechanics. And I wonder if anyone's seen that in chat. Utility skills. Oh. <gasps> elite utility for skills. Let's go, elite specs. Come on. No, fuck lore. Just give me new shit. Also broken a lot of our rules give us a gun. Give their own gun. And I think players Please. are going to really enjoy the Yeah. So today we're going to give you an overview of the core mechanic changes and weapon and utility. Sarah, let us know if you're being held captive by Aiden. Give, give us a sign. Afterwards, I'll be joined live by a few members of our development team to talk about what's coming next. He's for back and selling the fixed five year old book. Beef with Torch? That sounds so. What's the word? So rascally. Alright, Virtuoso sounds like a guardian or a mesmer? Hi, well, everyone. Mesmer. I'm Carl McLean, a senior combat designer working on elite specializations for End of Dragons. Hi, Carl. Here today to preview some of the abilities for the upcoming mesmer elite specialization. Alright, boys. Virtuoso. Let's jump right into it. Give us a red wing. Oh, okay, and get, okay, I like this. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting Again, up in my seat. Let's briefly cover the profession mechanic changes. From the start, you will no longer have Dagger? access to clones. Instead of creating Dagger. clones, the virtuoso will stock a blade on themselves for use with their blade song profession abilities. Phantasms will still initialize, but will stock a blade instead of creating a clone when they finish with their action. We'll have some brief demonstrations of different ways to use blades during. Oh no, that was the gun. Sorry. Now, let's go look at the Virtuoso's weapon, the dagger. Finally dragged the first skill for the Virtuoso's dagger is a consistent projectile attack called Flying Cutter. It's a ranged attack. Instead of a payout of a three auto attack okay. chain, 
Any target struck by three huh. of the projectiles that launches will receive multiple additional boom, attacks boom. on the third Boom, impact. boom, boom. The second skill of this weapon is Blade Call. This uh, I did not expect daggers that. which pause at their ending point or wherever they collide with terrain and then return to the Virtuoso for a second attack. If the blades strike an enemy during this ability, you'll stock a blade. I really didn't think it was going to be ranged. Here then again, Mesmer only has two ranged weapons, staff and then stocking a second blade shows another above my right shoulder. Unstable Blade Storm is the third ability, dealing pulsing damage along its path and hurling blades at enemies within its reach. Interesting. Okay, let's use some of these stocks. Uh, Yeet that into a vs. World Blob. Blade Song Harmony is the Virtuoso's most accessible blade song, expending oh, each stock quality blade game separately game. over a period oh, of Scepter, time yeah, that damage to your target enemy. Actually, yeah, damn, that's a lot of blade song range stuff for Mesmer. Each of your stock blades readies itself. Then launches toward your targeted enemy to strike them I'm simultaneously definitely... while inflicting oh, confusion. I don't need to take screen caps. Someone will do it for me. We'll rebuild a few of our blades after this by switching to a greatsword, then using Mirror Blade and Phantasmal Berserker. Bong, boing, boing. Blade Wait, so was dissonance. Dagger... Combine all your blades into a single strike that dazes enemies. We'll regain a full set of blades by using the utility skill Blade Renewal. Blade Turn Requiem will block Damn, for that a short cast time, time and deal damage to nearby enemies based off the number of blades stocked. Cool. So many lasers. Yeah, that channel restoration, though. which throws daggers at enemies and grants bonus effects if you hit foes with them. Oh, hey, boons, love boons. As covered before, blade renewal will grant <clears throat> distortion and fully stock all blades that can be used differently for each of the blade songs. Reign of Blades drops daggers on Ooh. foes for its duration, punishing enemies that remain in its area. Oh, what was the world? Sword Power of creep. Let's go. A single impact in an area to strategically immobilize enemies. What? And immobilize? So you just use that and use the other skill. Psychic force is a Did that channel have distortion on? Virtuoso that pushes I thought away. it was just a channel effect. I don't and finally, if that had involved, that would have been. That seems pretty busted. forget line based damaging ability that requires foes to stay in its narrow path for full effectiveness. Damn. So there you have each of the abilities that the Virtuoso can harness for the expansion. We'll cover the trick. slash dance, time. though. We're excited to see how the daggers fly when you get your hands on this burly elite mm -hmm. special. That sounds pretty cool. I've been Carl McLean, and on behalf of ArenaNet and the skills team, thank you, and we'll see you again soon. It's a legal legend Lucian ult, <laughs> but you can't move. No slash damn added shit game. Does it look like an easy mode mesmer? Problem, maybe. Oh. That's a nice last name, Debbie Derry Hey Berry. everybody, it's Debbie Derry Berry, the voice of Timey, your favorite, oh, damn. My favorite. I didn't know so she was that I'm so excited one. to be coming back for End of Dragons. Oh, there's so much I want to tell you. Aim the <laughs> So great. See you Stork there. down a corridor. Andrew has is Jimmy Neutron? On End of Dragons for all of you. Colin is Did she voice Jimmy Neutron? Josh Davis are I would believe it. Oh, look, Colin's back. As well. They paid him. Uh, thanks, Ruby. They, uh, they... Hello, everybody. It's been a minute. Oh, uh, it's great to be back. Girl's got chunky. Uh, just in time to crash this live stream, and you know I couldn't help myself. Thank you for crashing. Welcome back. So, Colin is back for Amazon, so, boys. Yeah, so, uh, like we did it. Before, we did it. Really. A lot of our pre-existing <laughs> design constraints and rules around these specializations within the Dragons, uh, which I think is going to be pretty interesting overall. I think the fact that the Virtual has a clone mechanic, uh, which has been a staple of Mesmer gameplay since release, is a bit of a testament to this. She voiced Jimbo? Uh, you know, oh, me, interesting. It feels like an entirely new profession, and I think you're going to see a similar design approach with all of the other elite specializations in the expansion. We can't wait to tell you more about those elite specializations. My wings are getting cold and too stuck on my screen. Along with other End of Dragons features that we mentioned How today, cold is it? Like those other two mastery tracks. Uh, we got off to a great start. We got to share so many things about gun. the expansion. Calling, want to give us a quick I'm actually recap? surprised they didn't show recap. Ellie. Right. You know, uh, everyone so plays Ellie. So, what have we heard about? Canthan region. We've got a storyline. Mysterious dragon jade technology. Creatures and masteries. New elite special. Give us four. Dude, I'm only like, what am I like? Two hundred. A new Canthan guild hall. Two six. Two eighty eight. I got some catching up to do. Player mounts. This is the first time we're adding multiplayer. Yeah, multiplayer mounts is cool. That's, now, I like that. I'm most excited about about this expansion is it draws on some of the best elements and lessons from our previous two expansions. 
For but story, we just, 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 just to remember, best guys, best this is a ten-year-old game, that approach into end of right? I think it's the best am I, am I doing math wrong? Ten-year-old. Uh, and, you know, Heart of Thorns, uh, one of the big things that we've seen comments from our players about Heart of Thorns. Oh, almost 10. That's it's 9 this year. Uh, and so a 9-year-old really game next month. Meta events, uh, in our strikes, having challenge modes, and having a full set of legendary... So I'm making this feel old. Dude, I turn 30 next uh, month, so you have no... You don't have the right! Yeah, dude, 2012. Uh, we also wanted to have game systems that impact not just the expansion, but the entire game. Uh, and I'm really catching the, the punky. <laughs> right, whole, time does fly by. With gliding and with mounts and other expansions. Um, and so with End of Dragons, if you look at the uh, multiplayer mounts, that is an investment in us saying, hey, Path of Fire had mounts. Give me back my youth. Mounts with my youth was drowned in Guild Wars 2 uh, and, and multiplayer uh, fishing with skiffs is a game gambling. experience that you can have. And I think that's really <laughs> exciting too. Give me uh, back my hair. <laughs> Technology. Yeah, we'll more, more, more necro, someday. please. Also has had this approach applied to it. Uh, and there's two other really big things. I, I really don't think really they're going to show the every single expansion. Elite Spec, though. For I would be very gracious, grateful if they did. But I feel like they're constrained for time. In a sense, maybe they showed Bezwick because it just looks the flashiest. <clears throat> That's like their marketing. Then again, and its marketing hasn't been the greatest either. Silhouettes would be sick, yeah. Warrior dual great swords. <laughs> We really want to invest in holistic 200 so blades not just with this expansion <coughs> uh, as a final note for me uh, maybe it's the one they finished named <laughs> end of dragons i want to be abundantly feels bad, clear man. this is not the end of guild wars 2. Uh, we view end of dragons as the mm. next big stepping stone for this franchise and we think the best is yet you to said come. a lot uh, shit there is plenty more coming after end of dragons i don't know if i can too. trust you right uh, now i'll tell you about any of it today uh, they're probably dangling a gem code right in front of you right now they're we like oh say good things colin just kidding now that's and messed the up launch of end of dragons josh you're up yes thank you uh and we got a lot to go through so please bear with me uh, <laughs> yes. so uh, that smile will only take you so far uh, colin you want to bring attention to the living world returns campaign which is taking players back to Living World Seasons no. 2. Oh, well, I actually did like that Living uh, World, like, re-campaign thing, the revisit thing is kind of nice. Uh, so here's how it works. Each Living World episode is available for free during its spotlight week. Well, they said that all, all, all the legendaries are going to be available, Sean, only because they uh, all look the same. Three, episode five is in the spotlight they have the same today, aesthetic, so I was a little disappointed by that. And just to reiterate, Can't stop smiling with those teeth. It's a condition. It's for End of Dragons. Each episode has new achievements available, and completing those achievements is going to bring you closer to two fairly big rewards. Uh, like Ruby mentioned earlier, I do like rewards. you can earn a voucher for an End of Dragons precursor weapon, which is going to give you a head start on earning one of those orine inspired legendaries. Yeah, so like they're they're all orine weapons. And the full meta achievement for living Jeff Bezos is tied that arena office right now. He came back from space to get Colin. Nicely into your, uh, Colin. Uh, now it's worth noting that these achievements are permanent, so uh, if this is the first time you're hearing about it. Don't worry, you can still jump in a little bit late and catch up on all this content before the release of End of Dragons uh, next year. Um, but next year, boys. But the near future, I'd also like to remind folks that we have the uh, World Boss Rush I'm, I'm like 50-50 on them all. If, uh, they them, event, if they made them, like I said, if they make them diable, uh, 110 out of 10. Out of 10. I like, cause in the, uh, at least, at, if they make it diable, everyone can have like unique colored Arene weapons. Uh, so like Colin mentioned earlier, uh, we've also got alliances uh, rolling into beta. Yes, please. Uh, for anyone who's tuning in, thank you for feature. mentioning alliances it. Alliances is designed to deliver a more balanced world versus world experience. But by dynamically creating matchups, using that guilds. the only thing uh, about the alliances that kind of lost me hype was that they needed world fix world, world versus world first. Uh, this is very bring some more content to it. System, uh, that we've been using for this is just helping. This is just helping with matchmaking and grouping. We know this feature is going to have a huge impact on the player experience in world versus world and we want to work on players yeah, with you to yeah this right. and, and this is really why probably releasing it in a beta state in but phases. i still we feel like get feedback on the wolf of the world needs a facelift before we make it a permanent addition to the game uh, we mentioned this on july 2nd but i want to reiterate world versus world is a now you mentioned this shit five years ago and we want to make sure that we delivered something <laughs> for the game mode aside from uh elite specializations with end of dragons wait raid and armor is bugs all the first step of many that we have planned for getting world versus world where we and you want it to be. 
Uh, now, Alliances isn't the only major feature coming before the expansion. Like Colin mentioned before, he's <coughs> skipping everything. Uh, <laughs> what do you say? Well, I guess we already talked about it publicly, but uh, we've also, we're working on um, upgrading the engine from uh, DirectX 9 yes. to DirectX 11. Yes. Uh, this is a long awaited and highly requested Thank you. Thank you. Really I would like <laughs> extra 10 uh, FPS in Wolves World. Later this year. This changeover is critical for improving client performance and allows us to start ratcheting up our graphical. Apparently, it's supposed to just help. Um, because Guild Wars 2 has, for the longest time since um, it's been on DX9, uh, single core or, or like, uh, August, which is just a what do you call it? Yeah, single core based. So, if you had really fast <laughs> single core performance, <laughs> you really benefited. It didn't really benefit uh, if you had like a multi core uh, CPU, but 11 should help with that. The first three of these I events will include three of nine new Elite Specializations. Wait, the what? The fourth event is going to include all nine Elite Specializations and the Siege Turtle. Uh, you'll be able to play with the existing Elite Specs. Oh, is there uh, sorry, a beta? You'll be able to play with the Elite Specs and Siege Turtles in existing PV content, War vs. World, and in PV. Oh, they're going to do the, the reverse engineer thing. Everyone, even those who are on when, the though? Campus. Oh, I'm free to play. That's cool. Is that the first Elite Spec beta is just three weeks away. Oh, nice. Starting on August 17th, running through August 21st. Okay, I You'll like that. play with the Virtuoso, which we've got to run down from Carl on, and two more yet-to-be-revealed Elite Specializations. Mm -hmm. Please and tell me today. Of course, those betas will be revealing all of the remaining eight Elite Specs leading up to each of the betas. And yeah, because they did something similar. Of sneak peek oh. the silhouette of the next Elite <laughs> got a gun! <laughs> I'm actually hyped! Hey, it even looks like a little western little shit. Oh, I called it. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, so, I think it was a gun. I'm happy. We've been working on this arena elder dragon statue. I can't breathe. And it is no, fuck that. Show me more gun. You can pre-purchase this starting now until August. It doesn't. They couldn't add like a light to it or something. All right, but that, that's that's pretty sick. DX Racer to give away a DX Racer racing series. I gotta tweet this. I gotta tweet my hype. Uh, check out the news on GuildWars2.com to see how to enter and how to pre-purchase the Orin statue. All right, so surely that's everything. No, We've covered no, the merch. Have, we got everything more. done. No, there's more. <laughs> There is one thing that we've seen a lot we of got a good. early in July, early this month, we told you that What if that was Necro themed engineer with different offhand? And we've been watching what? all of you. I wonder if it is going to be an offhand though. <coughs> Dagger pistol Necro, let's go. To let you know that the oh, fuck, that show was more good. <laughs> and you will be able to pre-purchase today at 11:20 a.m. Pacific time. That is less than 2 hours away. 11:20 um, to help pass the time what? a little bit. What? What? Make the wait a little harder. Could they not afford the extra 40 minutes or something? You see the pre-purchase bonus items and what you can get. Oh, did it say February? I missed it. That's a nice that's a nice date. Bonus items are the flame serpent weapon chest, the Shinjae Offhand would be boring. Actually, it has to be main hand, right? Because that dictates the um, it dictates the uh, elite spec. Yeah, you're right. It's gonna be main hand. Oh, pay to win stuff. Let's go. Of end of dragons includes a free shared inventory slot and the max level boost. The deluxe edition comes with those two items. You mean like max level boost that I have like fucking a Canthan Raptor skin, which I love. Also, I have identity repair kit. And then the ultimate edition, which is the best value, includes all of those items plus four thousand gems to spend. Wow! Oh, that was that's the same button for the last time. We hope you enjoyed this first look at End of Dragons and that you were excited for everything else we're gonna show. Oh wait, I gotta get I gotta I gotta sign up a partner again. Do you guys need to use my my coupon code? No, I'm just kidding. I'm probably not gonna reapply for a partner until the release. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. You know, one one note I want to add in. Uh, so you mentioned the identity repair kit that'll be available. Yeah. Uh, there are going to be some new looks with the expansion that players can. Final Fantasy XIV yeah, partnership, right. dude. For, I think that one requires a you know, butt ton of like <laughs> um, requirements. Uh, yeah. So uh, 
Don't forget to check out Living World Season 3, Episode 5, which again is... <clears> I wonder what the gun would do when we shoot out bones, tend to be? Hey, tend to be. Today, and, uh, the World shoot World life force? I don't know. It's actually active running until Friday of this oh my god, the rare. Oh it's my god, it's the rare. Marky, is that him? Nah, just, this is my yearly stream, Marky. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, I think they do. Oh, we're done. We'll see you again. That was the most abrupt cut I've seen versus the the lady who got cut off during her little There's spiel. <laughs> Ruby is allergic to Kong. Alright, well, like no birthday stream this year either. Yeah, I'm probably just going to go to like a karaoke bar and get drunk with some friends on my birthday. I know you. We got a gun though, Obamas. We got a fucking gun. Who are you talking to? I'm just I when I saw that, I'm actually really happy Aiden showed that one. I mean, you know. It could have been any other class, but they showed they, they knew what they knew what they wanted to show. Oh yeah. Yeah. It looks like there's he has like grenades though. Oh wait! Yeah, it has to be Necro. I was about to say something, but that's just dumb. I'm not Kantha's not just a spoke. Alright. That's uh GG boys. That statue is 120 bucks. What is it made of? <laughs> Nade Shroud? I won't. Man, I think I actually might find some time to make like a prediction video on what um Necro Gun's gonna instill. But uh, I'm hyped. Thank you, ain't it? Um, overall though, like uh, I mean, you know, no, no, am noon. So that's 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 not that's not happening. More mounts happened. Just going down on my list. Um, got turtle and I guess that boat is a mount, right? Since it's a mastery, but it's just some water. Uh, new weapon type. Uh, I didn't see anything. That also probably just requires a lot of engineering, so that didn't happen. Give Necro a gun. <laughs> we got it. The dream. Was that chick my train? I don't think so. Probably like another uh, NPC. Party finder didn't happen. Alliances. We got info on that. <coughs> uh, oh, that was my train. Oh, cool. Oh, GGS. Uh, DX11 info. That was kind of spoilerino though. Uh, I saw an article somewhere. I just wanted to see more info on it. I'm glad they touched on it because it's a very, very nice thing to add to the game. Uh, actually, I'll go back to Guild Wars. Um, just in terms of being able to have a better performing game and a better looking game would be really nice for a lot of people. Especially now with, um, I mean, you know, everyone has like multi core CPUs and whatnot. You want to utilize it. Uh, yeah, no view. This is this is kind of like maybe a want being able to view other people's info and profiles. Like you know, right click. Uh, oh, there's a. Oh, why is everyone spamming this in chat? Uh, um, new legendaries. So new legendaries. It's kind of yeah. Everyone has multi core, but I mean, you know, to be able to utilize it would be really nice. Uh, let's see, new legendaries. It's just I I I was hyped when they said new legendaries, but then they revealed it to be all the same aesthetic. I mean, who knows? It could be like some really subtle differences besides the shape of the weapon, of course. But if they make the weapon dieable, that would make it exponentially much better because everyone's just gonna be running around with the same damn looking weapon. Not not saying like you know. We already kind of did that in the previous game because everyone just has like Twilight, Sunrise, um, Exordium. But even then, there's, there's technically variety between that generation, you know, colors wise and stuff like that. And each one technically had like their own story. Like, you know, the fucking Quaggan Shield was a Fu, Fu, not a Fusti Fu, I forgot. Some shit like that. And then you had the, the Binding of Epos, is like that dark purple claw thing, which was really sick. Uh, but yeah, uh, kind of disappointed with legendaries in that regard. Could you do one roll so I can move on with my life, Mr. Strimmerman? <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? 
<laughs> I lost it. Oh, I lost it, guys. Sorry. Uh, can't roll. Where the fuck did I go? I'm blind. What is this? When the fuck did I buy this? When did I buy this weep shit? Oh, it actually looks pretty good. Oh, I hated it because it gives you fake hair. That's right. I want a refund. <laughs> I guess, uh, welcome back. Welcome back to, Welcome back to the real world! Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> 50, 25. Alright, you, you know the rule though. Oh wait, I can't buy anymore. Wait, wait, do I have something in my stash? I don't. Oh, wait, no, I thought that was Ecto. <laughs> uh, hold on, man. I'm just gonna buy 50 more. You know, how much are Ecto's anyways right now? 23 silver? Charging an arm and a leg out here. Alright, Fire Coast, thanks for uh, hanging out, man. Good to see everyone again. Let me just do one more. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'll probably upload this on YouTube later. I just want to give like my one more final thoughts. And I, I want to take a nap before I got to go work again for the next 12 hours. <laughs> 6.25. Can I... I need money. I thought you did. <laughs> what the hell, alien? No. Oh, oh, okay. We got money. Oh, I'm still here, alien. Just uh, a lot of work. That's all. Yeah, you know, Hawaii's been really popping off lately in terms of um uh activity all right la la last one last one and then i, I want to like this kind of go take a nap i like, think like a two hour nap where'd my stuff go oh 51 50 not bad i don't know i don't know how much money that made me all right that's good enough right uh let's see uh fishing happened Playable race that was never gonna happen. Let's be real. And then uh, more bank backspace. That's that's probably something they weren't gonna reveal on stream. <laughs> uh, how do I put my weapon away in this game? There we go. Uh, but yeah, overall, eh, maybe like a six out of ten stream. It went to like a ten when I saw Necro though. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to being able to play them. Hopefully, I'll have time to stream when they have the beta for Necro. But uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. Good to see you all again. But uh, I'll, I'll definitely try and get some time to. Uh, f maybe I'll just like take some days off when they release the, the Necro spec. <laughs> all right, guys. But uh, thanks for hanging. I'll see you guys whenever that happens. Good to see you all again. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to hang out, you guys yeah see me on Discord and things like that, or uh, pop me on Twitter. But uh, later, guys. Peace out. I'm gonna go take an hour and a half nap before my shift. Alright, later guys.